Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comps, and today we're going to talk about a product I'm pretty excited about. This is called the Power Film Lightsaber, which is a uh, it's basically a 3200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery inside of a uh, solar cell. And I was at the Orlando Hamcation, and I ran into uh, videos by Mike over at the um, Power Film booth when I was walking around in the first commercial building, and uh, the sales representative had one of these and showed it to me and uh, I was pretty impressed with it so when I got back I went ahead and went on Amazon and bought one um, I think it's like ninety something ninety nine dollars or something around there you'd have to look at look it up yourself but uh, it's a good product and everything I found that everything that the sales rep told me about it is true that uh, I can get about one and a half charges on my cell phone out of just a battery pack and it does fully charge in sun in about six hours so you know the physical construction of this just a plastic housing and there's your solar cell which is tied into this here then you have a charge indicator light here you have an input to charge it and then you have your output on the opposite side of it you have a couple of uh, tie-outs up here and then of course you have another tie-out right here if you wanted to stretch it out but uh, it's a very nice form factor it's uh, easy to pack and the weight of it is less than five ounces just a tad under five ounces they advertise as being a five ounce weight and you can see here on this postage scale here that it's just over four and a half ounces on this scale so yeah, I've been pretty happy with it. Now, we'll go back a little bit and we'll talk about some of the other solutions I've used in the past. Okay, the pack I'm replacing is going to be this Mophie pack that I've carried for years, and it's been a very good pack. I can't complain about it at all. And weight-wise, it's uh, four and a half ounces, and it's a nice small form factor. But, of course, you do have to have a regular cellular charger and... Uh, power to charge it with either from a car or from a uh, electrical outlet now this these most of the time are rated in watt hours uh, and also most of your cellular telephone batteries are rated in watt hours and to figure out what your milliamp hours are it's, it's a pretty easy formula we'll go ahead and do that right now is to figure out your milliamp hours which we'll do is is you'll go ahead and take your watt hour that you know that's listed on your pack of interest and then what you'll do is, is you'll multiply that times a thousand. And then you'll take that and divide that by five, which is your voltage for that right there. And what that'll do is, is that'll give you your milliamp hour capacity, which in this case here is 2960. So you're a little less than three amp hours or 3000 milliamp hours. Now, a tip, my cellular telephone, which is the uh, a Samsung, has a battery that's uh, 9.88 watt hours. So, what that would end up equating to is 2760 milliamp hours. Now, keep that in mind that that's at 3.7 volts, and that this is at 5 volts. So this gives you the idea that this right here will be able to recharge your phone one time. This right here will definitely be able to recharge your phone one time because this is 3.2 is what it's rated for. So, as you can see, they're equivalent in performance and they're similar in weight, although this right here is energy independent, being that it will completely recharge itself with the provided solar cell within six hours of direct sunlight. Okay, let's talk about some of the items you can charge with this power pack here. You can, of course, charge a cellular telephone. I can charge an 18650 battery. And if you look at my bug out bag radio series I could charge my battery from my VX3R which these are an 1800 milliamp hour battery so theoretically I'd be able to charge almost two of those but you can see this right here will also charge off this solar charger so 
what's nice about this is it's kind of a, a self-contained one-stop charging solution and with its ability to charge itself within in, in six hours of direct sunlight it'll almost keep one device operating all the time theoretically uh, now in service and you were going to charge it lay it out on a rock or beach or wherever you're at you'll see it has a charge indicator LED on this side of it right here and this fluorescent light here in this room is not good enough to charge it but I'll use my magnifier light here we'll kick it on and that shows you a solid green LED a solid green LED indicates a 90 percent or greater state of charge a flashing green LED is 50 to 90 percent a flashing red is a 10 to 50 percent and a solid red is below 10 percent capacity now output of this is not it's not a two amp charger so it is just a one amp charger which is fine because it'll charge all of these items in a one amp setting without a problem and uh, as far as the little light goes you can just take one of these little USB stick lights here it's a backup light and it weighs like a half of an ounce and you can see you can get some light out of that right there if you had to, to use this as a uh, another light source so it's a lot of bang for the buck it really is and I'm pretty excited about using it I'm gonna take it on a backpacking trip uh, in the next couple weeks and uh, we we'll get to play with it out there and uh, see how useful it is I know that you know hanging a thing on the back of your backpack when you're going through tree cover and everything it's not very efficient and there is a certain amount of loss and what we'll do is we'll see how it works in shade and stuff like that in a uh, more realistic environment so I hope this helps this is Brett from survival comms till next time